High alert after brutal terror attack at a concert hall near Moscow on Friday evening. Death toll has crossed 140. All the gunmen have been apprehended. While Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the attack, United States claims it had shared credible intelligence on the attack. President Putin in his address to the nation has said those responsible for the attack will be punished. One of the deadliest terror attacks in Russia in two decades. Armed men went on a shooting rampage at the Crocus City Hall near Moscow on Friday. The concert venue was packed with attendees when the gunfire erupted. At least 143 people were killed, many more injured. I was right there on the west side of the shopping mall. Suddenly I heard sounds like firecrackers but had no clue what was actually happening. Then I saw lots of people running. Addressing the nation, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that all those responsible for this deadly attack will be punished. He added that the attackers had sought to escape towards Ukraine. Now the main thing is to not let those behind this bloodbath to commit new crimes. Regarding the investigation of this crime and results of operational search actions, I can now say the following. All four of the actual performers of the act of terror, all those who shot and killed people were found and detained. They tried to hide and were moving in the direction of Ukraine. There, according to the preliminary data, they had a crossing of the border prepared from the Ukrainian side. Overall, 11 people were detained. President Putin and his Belarusian counterpart Alexander Lukashenko confirmed their readiness to work together in the fight against terrorism over a phone call. Russia's foreign ministry called the shooting a terrorist attack. Eleven people have been arrested, including four suspected gunmen. Militant Islamic group Islamic State Khorasan has claimed responsibility for this attack. United States claims it had intelligence confirming Islamic State's claim of responsibility for a deadly shooting. Apparently, United States had warned Russia in recent weeks about the possibility of an attack. Responders in Moscow mobilized to contain a massive blaze the size of a soccer field after the attack. In light of the attack, the Russian Ministry of Culture has announced cancellation of all mass and entertainment events at federal cultural institutions for the coming days. Hundreds of people queued up near blood donation centers in Moscow on Saturday morning for those injured in the shooting rampage at the concert hall. Sevastopol residents brought toys and flowers, lit candles at a makeshift memorial for the victims. I came to honor the memory of those who died, who suffered from terrorism. This is just unbearable. Russian Railways has increased security measures on trains and railway stations in connection with the attack. Security measures have been strengthened at transport infrastructure facilities and in crowded places in the Moscow region. And world leaders expressed shock and extended condolences to victims of shooting near Moscow and Russia. Condemning the attack, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India stands in solidarity with the government and people of Russia. UN chief leaders from EU, Turkey and other world leaders too extended messages of solidarity with people of Russia in this hour of grief. An attack near Moscow at concert goers on Friday brought back memories of the 2004 Beslan school siege. The five gunmen dressed in camouflage on Friday opened fire with automatic weapons at people attending a concert in the Krokus City Hall near Moscow. The Kremlin said Russian President Vladimir Putin was updated on the concert attack by the FSB director. Putin wished a speedy recovery to those injured in the attack. Soon, global condemnation and messages of solidarity poured in. The UN chief, United States, European Union and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, among others, condemned the attack and sent their condolences. The images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts, obviously, are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a social media post on X said, We strongly condemn the heinous terrorist attack in Moscow. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the victims. India stands in solidarity with the government and the people of the Russian Federation in this hour of grief. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned the attack in the strongest possible terms. 
According to a statement attributable to the deputy spokesperson Farhan Haq, the Secretary General conveys his deep condolences to the bereaved families and the people and the government of the Russian Federation. He wishes those injured a speedy recovery. European Union spokesman Peter Santo in a statement posted on X said that the EU is shocked and appalled by the reports of a terrorist attack in the Crocus City Hall in Moscow. The EU condemns any attacks against civilians. Our thoughts are with those Russian citizens affected. Condemning the attack, French President Emmanuel Macron said in the statement that France stands in solidarity with the victims of the shooting. While the German Foreign Office said that the images of the terrible attack on innocent people in Crocus City Hall near Moscow are horrific. The background must be investigated quickly. Our deepest condolences with the families of the victims. Following the attack, all entertainment and mass events were cancelled in Russia. A billboard near the concert hall read a message, We grieve. Following the attack, firefighters had to battle a massive blaze as flames leapt into the sky and plumes of black smoke rose above the venue. The emergency services evacuated hundreds of people while parts of the venue's roof collapsed. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack. Fuzel Ahmed reporting for DD India. And DD India correspondent Dasha Chernyshova joins us live from Moscow. Dasha, there has been a dramatic rise in the number of casualties in the Moscow attack. How is Russia recovering? What is the latest on the death toll and condition of the injured? Well, indeed, as the investigators and the rescuers have started the operations on the first floor of the Crocus City Hall, the death toll has significantly increased. The latest we have from the investigative committee is 133. This is because the uh, rubble has started to be moved on this first floor. We understand that 63 cubic meters of the constructions that have uh, collapsed have been removed from the scene of this tragedy right behind me. Uh, also, the Russian authorities are implementing all the increased measures of security across the Russian capital as well as some other regions with more uh, controls at the critical juncture such as airports, railroad stations. So certainly the investigation is ongoing. We understand that there are more people still in hospitals, some of them in the critical condition so that these deaths still could further increase. But what matters at the moment is that the investigators have access to all the details that will help them establish the sequence of the events that led to this deadly tragedy. Dasha, the terror group ISIS-K is said to have claimed responsibility for the attack. Uh, the attackers have been apprehended. Where does the investigation go from here? Is uh, there any Ukraine link also being analyzed? Well, we've heard the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, issuing his statements to the people of Russia and saying that actually four men who have been involved in the shooting have been detained. They are no longer at large. And uh, the, they are being interrogated. Some of the videos of those interrogations suggest that people have been receiving money uh, in exchange for uh, what they have committed here for these acts of terrorism. We're also getting some of the uh, reports saying... Uh, the, 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 some of the reports saying that they have tried to leave the Russian Federation by going all the way from Moscow to the Bransk region and then trying to cross into the Ukrainian territory. This is because the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, said there was an opening in the border that has been created by someone. That's why the authorities say they need to find all the accomplices that help them store the weapons inside Krokos City Hall long before the attack happened, as well as to plan the, uh, the, the routes of that they can leave. Also, we understand this is the uh, investigative committee that, uh, of the Russian Federation that will be looking into this matter is to see how uh, these people have been hired because in one of the videos of the interrogation, uh, the, the suspect said that he was uh, hired via telegram. Uh, we do know about these four men that none of them is the citizen of the Russian Federation. They are all foreigners. Dasha, I appreciate you joining us with those updates from Moscow. On to some other stories now. India's Prime Minister 